switch out your ECU for CCS, unplug your negative and positive terminal to your 12 volt battery. If you have the 12 volt lithium battery, you want to pull up on the green tab first and then pull out the black cover to the left of the vehicle when you're sitting in your driver's seat and lift it straight up. And that's how you disconnect the 12 volt battery for the lithium battery. Then now go back to your Tesla Model 3 vehicle under the right rear seat, lift up with the tap, pushing the tap to the left, pull up the cover and then unlatch the main contactor. This will disconnect your main battery pack. Going to your trunk, unpackage your ECU for your CCS. Use the handshell plug. You need this plug in order to use CCS with this new ECU. So to access your car original MCU, this is the MCU that is not CCS enabled. You will be replacing that with this new MCU and the adapter harness plug from Handshow. In order to access this MCU, it is located on the rear left side of the trunk. You will have to pull a few panels down and out before you can access. Using a pry tool, there are two clips, one on the top left and one on the top right behind the plastic trim. Pop both of those open, be patient as these clips can be a challenge to pull out by hand. And just wiggle it out one at a time using the pry tool and take your time. So this is the clip. And now working your way to the right side to remove the other clip. Again, there's only two clips, one on the left and one on the right. And then pull up on this rubber trim then you can pop open the plastic cover. Then pop forward the plastic cover like you're rolling it forward. After that, take off the light and just the left light. Then pull up on the rubber trim on the bottom above your rear bumper. Then you can pull up that plastic trim as well. Then pry open the left clip on your carpet. Then you can roll back your carpet. Once you're able to roll back the carpet, you will have access to the MCU. So be patient with this carpet. It does require a little jiggle and wiggle before you can actually roll it back. And there is your MCU that you will be replacing. It is held together by one 10 millimeter bolt. So you can use a impactor or a screwdriver to unscrew that 10 millimeter socket. And then slide the module to the right then you will just unplug all three plugs. The last plug on the right requires a little screwdriver to push in the lock mechanism to be able to wiggle out. Do not pull on the wires to pull this plug out. Just use the plastic trim between the plug and the MCU and the flathead screwdriver and work your way around. It should come out eventually. Now, plug in that same harness that we showed earlier, I'm just repeating the plug-in, and this harness allows you to be able to use this MCU with CCS. So this is the new CCS enabled MCU with the plug that's required for the Model 3, and just plug everything back to the original slot. Slide back the MCU module, the new one, and plug in the last plug on the right that you had trouble with earlier removing and then put back the 10 millimeter screw. You can hand tighten this with a screwdriver or use the impactor with limit torque. Now put back the carpet and once again, be patient with this carpet. You want to roll it back in and push in as well with your other hand. And once you have the carpet back, go ahead and tuck in all the rubber piece around the trunk, ensure a complete seal and that you are all tuck away to ensure a enclosed environment once you install all the clips as well as a plastic panel. So the panel on the top as well as the panel above the rear bumper. Plug back in your light. So don't forget that light for your left hand side. 
and that is it. So if you prefer to do this after your install update of the firmware, you can wait until then to make sure that everything is working before you reinstall everything. But we just wanted to demo how we complete the installation with putting back all the trim. So once you have everything put back, go back inside your cabin. After you install back the 12 volt battery and the connector, you will notice that there is a alert that charging is not enabled and you need to go into service. So within service, you will see your car. Hold down on the Model 3 and hold that for about three seconds, then enter service. Once you enter service mode, so the passcode is service, all lowercase, service. You will go ahead and reinstall your firmware. And on the right there, the third tab, click on reinstall firmware and confirm yes. This should take about 20 minutes. Once it's done, you should be able to close your vehicle as normal, lock it, use it as normal, and then check for CCS enable by going to your nearby CCS charger. And that is it. So link in the description if you're interested in getting the CCS harness for your MCU module for Model 3.